Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Ty back here with another video, guys. In this video today, I am going to be going over the My Team Unlimited game mode and kind of what to look for, how to level up, and ultimately how to get the Pink Diamond Paul Pierce reward card in NBA 2K20 My Team. Before I do go any further, if you are new to the channel and have not yet, please smash that subscribe button as we're on the road to 35,000 subscribers, and your subscription means the world to me. So, guys, hey, to start with, my team unlimited we don't get a diamond larry bird those days are over we get a pink diamond paul pierce and if like i just hope he can shoot corner threes this year and i think that 2k pro hopefully hopefully adjusted the game in which he could do so so what i'm going to be going over today is kind of the structure of this whole thing and how it will work so first of all the first thing is you need at the silver rewards there's going to be there's going to be, what is it, nine different rewards. I'm guessing silver, gold, emerald, sapphire, ruby, amethyst, diamond, galaxy, opal. And I don't know what the last one's going to be. Is it going to be the dark matter? I don't know. I don't know what it's going to be. Maybe I missed uh, a, a tier somewhere in there. But ultimately, what's going to happen is you're going to have to get three wins out of 12 to advance from silver to the gold tier. And the reward, it looks like it says unlimited silver tier reward. I don't know what that is. I mean, it doesn't say what it is, so I don't know. But another thing to note is the My Team Unlimited 250K tournament. The first qualifier is October 11th, and to be entered in that, you need to at least reach the Emerald Unlimited tier, which is should be super super easy for most people. So Silver uh, tier, obviously, you got to go three. Uh, you got to win three games out of 12. So you at least got to go three and eight or better, uh, and then you advance to the Gold tier, which you'll need four wins out of 12. And in that tier, you'll need to win four out of 12 games. So you at least have to go four and seven or better um, than that. You can't lose eight games. Uh, you'll get the unlimited gold tier reward, whatever that is. Uh, and so far, that's seven wins. And then you advance to the emerald tier, which is going to be five wins to level up. And if you do that, you'll qualify for the My Team Unlimited 250K tournament uh, on October 11th. But also, you'll get the uh, emerald silver or You'll get the unlimited emerald tier award i don't know what these all are going to be or what it's going to look like anything like that but so far you'll need at least if if you keep if you keep winning your games and don't lose it all so far we're at 12 wins so if you win 12 straight you're only at 12 games play the next tier is a sapphire tier in which you'll need to go six and five you'll need to win at least more than half your games to get the unlimited sapphire tier award same thing with the ruby the Ruby tier, you'll need seven or more wins uh, to, to, uh, to level up uh, and, and get the Ruby tier award. Whatever that is, I don't know what each of these tier uh, rewards are going to be. But to get the Ruby, you're going to have to win at least seven games. Amethyst is going to be eight games. Like I said, you'll have 10 games or you have 12 games to win it. So all you have to do is go eight and three or better at the Amethyst level. Diamond, you have to go... You have to go... Uh, um, you have to win nine games at the Diamond level. Uh, 10 games at the Pink Diamond level, 11 at the Galaxy Open. I'm guessing the Dark Matter is going to be the last one, and it's going to be 12 wins. So, like I said, I don't know how uh, what your what the rewards are going to be like uh, for all of these, but it is important to know you have to get 75 total wins in 42 days. That's a lot of wins, especially when your record might reset a couple of times and stuff like that. But the key is just to work on it one you know one level at a time. Get through the Silver Ward, then work at Gold, then Emerald. All that all the way up to the dark matter of galaxy oh, but listen all i'm going to say is i'm glad they have the season record and the win percentage in here i'm glad i'm glad that's that's um here because that's that's something that i pride myself on i probably won't go into unlimited unless i have my team ready uh in which i think i can win 75 straight games because i'm going to be very very prideful about my record this year and i think most people should because that's you know something to pride yourself on uh that's a little more than just the 250k tournament but just know that Paul Pierce isn't going to happen last second. You're not going to have one day left and somebody's going to grind, be able to grind 75 games in that one day. That's not going to happen. That's going to be nearly impossible uh, for that to, that to happen. But this Paul Pierce uh, award is eligible for, a my for the My Team Limited event, but it's going to be hard to get him. It's 75 total games. Plus, you have to go 11. You have to go. You have to get 11 wins with that before you lose two games. You have to get 10 wins before losing three games. You have to go 12 and 0, 12 games without losing one, and that's hard enough alone, as well as getting 63 other wins throughout the throughout the 45 days. 
it's just it's a long grind but trust me i think it's going to be worth it now i don't know what these rewards are like are going to be like on the side for like the emerald uh for the silver gold emerald i don't know what the what the specific rewards are going to be but hopefully it's something that's good enough that's going to get us to keep playing the game you know hopefully and and once you get paul pierce i don't think there's probably going to be anything more to do on within my team unlimited but i'm glad they added that because the 12 and 0 reward wasn't in my opinion enough to 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 grant somebody uh necessarily to to go grind for paul pierce so that's kind of my thought behind it i think paul pierce should be you know a card that only the best players in the game get and i think 2k is doing a good job with that because you got to win 75 total games not a lot of guys can win 75 games in 42 days let alone have to go 12 and 0 11 and 1 10 and 2 all that type of stuff it's going to be hard to achieve this paul pierce card but i kind of i, I kind of wanted to break down how to approach it just go one level at a time and i don't know in this in this game if you're going to be able to go back a level or not I, hopefully i want it to be where if you don't win you know four games uh that you go back now i don't know if you can do that or not because i don't know if there's a reset record button at all or not um but hopefully you have to get a certain amount of wins to say so let's say at the, at the at, once you get to gold tier you can't go owen owen 12 to to uh to remain at that tier you have to at least win one game to remain at the tier and maybe win four games to to advance that emerald tier once you're on gold that might be a little a little complex i don't know if that's how it's going to work but i hope that's how it works so once you get to the pink diamond tier or galaxy Opal, where you need to go 12 and 0 if you don't go at least 10 and 2 you got to go back that's how i personally would like it now, i know a lot of people don't like that kind of style of it and that's okay but that's for competitive um if you want competitive unlimited that's how i want it to be now that's the competitive mindset in me i don't know if it'll be exactly like that or not but that's kind of my thought process behind it but all in all i'm very very excited uh for for 2k20 as a whole i'm very very excited just know but if you want paul pierce by october 11th listen time's ticking man you you got about 40 days to find a way to get paul pierce that's uh, you know 42 days that's probably it before october 11th um that that's probably when the 250k tournament's gonna happen maybe no it's not 42 days until october 11th i'm 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 a little tired i'm a little exhausted out of early morning but it's about 38 days so right after the unlimited tournament in a few more days we'll get an updated updated everything and that's one thing i like about this whole mode is everything is getting updated my team unlimited gets updated domination gets up, updated and triple threat offline gets updated so after 42 days if you think you completed the mode there's something else to do and that's something i think will just keep the relevancy of 2k going through the whole entire year but yes my team my team unlimited specifically to get paul pierce it's an absolute grind it's an absolute grind that you should take pride in don't go out there with the team i got right now because you're not going to stand a chance people are going to buy packs people are going to have the best players so i suggest don't touch my team unlimited until you get domination done get domination completed uh and, and maybe even grind some triple threat offline games get your team at least better suited before you go out there in unlimited that's just kind of my my thought process and breakdown of it but guys that is going to wrap it up for my my team unlimited video today kind of breaking down how to how you how do you even start to get this paul pierce card just know it's going to be a long grind but trust me paul pierce is going to be a very very good card especially if you can get him within you know the first two weeks that he's out but that's going to wrap it up i hope you guys did enjoy the video drop a like on the video subscribe if you are new and as always man i love y'all and have a blessed day